Welcome to So You Think You Can Write, where uh, we give serious writing critique without taking ourselves too seriously. And you notice that pause there. Uh, we've been on break for about a month and a half, so sometimes it takes me a little bit to remember our little cat. You know what we're there. doing as well. What? Uh, no, we just don't take ourselves too seriously. <laughs> we just don't take ourselves too seriously. All right. All right. So uh, He's my name is. Showing not telling. That's what you did. You were showing not telling. Yeah. Oh, see. A good lesson. Oh, excellent. Um, my name is Randy Lindsay, and with me is... Tarsha Baker. Jeanette Rallison. Brock Boer. All right, and uh, as you should probably know by now, the way the show works is one of us, and that will be me, is going to read a first page submission from one of our viewers, and the rest of the panel will act as agents and editors, and if they think that they would reject the uh, manuscript, they will... <laughs> That's what they'll do. <laughs> Some of them more than than others. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this episode is called "A Lack of Magic." Aurora winced when she heard her cousins calling. If she could hear their voices, it wouldn't be too much longer before they would sense her and drag her from her hiding place in the thick tree branches. Soon enough, she felt Clarice's magic woofling around the bottom of her tree, which shook as the magic made its way up the trunk. She sighed when she felt fuzzy. Oh, let's see if they we, don't like fuzzy. We, we, okay, you go first. Okay, so um, there, there were a couple things earlier on, but I was passing them up, but figured I'll, I'll mention them when I do buzz. So one is um, you have three hers in your second sentence. Um, I think you, if you play around with it, you can find another way to reword that so that you don't have all of those hers right there. Um, and then another thing was waffling. Um, I've never heard of that word before. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But um, to me, it sounds more like a, um, a, sound? a sound. And and you have it as that she felt it. Maybe um, this might be a world building thing and this is a brand new world that, you, or I mean word that you made up for your world. Which is, um, I get you know it can work, but in the first. I like waffling. Yeah. I'm a waffling. But you have to be clear what it means if you're yes. going to do that. Yes. Yes, and Sorry. and it's kind of tricky to do that sort of thing on the first paragraph in your in your first chapter. It might be something you'd want to bring in a little bit later. Um, anyhow, but the reason I I did go ahead and hit the buzz is you have. Um, you were just talking about Clarice's magic in the sentence. So he says, soon enough, she felt Clarice's magic waffling around the bottom of her tree. And then the next sentence, you say, she sighed when she felt fuzzy tingling on the bottom of her bare feet. So I'm assuming there, since now we're back in um, Aurora's head, but the she would be referring to Clarice because that's the last person that you talked about. Oh, an antecedent. So, What's that? Oh. An antecedent problem. Yes. Oh. So, so um, unless you are unless you are talking about Clarice, in which case, then we're head hopping. So you have to be careful of that too. So just um, you know, make it clear who you're talking about that felt um, fuzzy tingling on the bottom of her bare feet. If it is Clarice, you can't you can't say that because we're not in Clarice's head. We're supposed to be in Aurora's head. Um, but if you mean Aurora, then just change that she to Aurora, so we know we're talking about Aurora now and not Clarice. Was that? Good. Yes, good grammar. Well, no, that actually was not. <laughs> oh, I had something else. Was it as? Oh, okay, you, you, yes. It was as. I you know, it. I was this, leaving that one for Jeanette. This is becoming my hot, hot spot. Um, okay, but and, see, no, you didn't actually use as three times. Uh, two of them are wins, but it's sort of the same thing. So we have Aurora wins to win. She heard her. So it's like we're doing these two things simultaneously, which is, it, I mean, it's fine. Um, and then we have... Okay, waffling around the, the bottom of the tree, which she shook as the magic made its way up the, the trunk. So again, you're telling us two things simultaneously. And then she said, then right very next sentence, she sighed when she felt. But so that's three times you've used that same construction in, you know, in two paragraphs. So that that is going to turn off um, an, an agent or an editor, and it, it does make the prose feel weaker. So um, take out two of those. See how you can structure those sentences better uh, by not having uh, it. Doesn't all have to be simultaneously. Like there's you could there's say no you could say soon enough Clarice's magic waffled around the bottom of the tree and shook as the magic as it, as the magic made its way up the trunk. Well, I mean, you still, still left one as, but you get rid of one when. 
Oh. And you change, instead of wolfling, you change it to wuffled. Wuffled. Anyway, okay. if that's a um, correct use of that verb, I, I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. How do we conjugate wuffle? I, I, I want to like Google this it. Word. I, I want to Google it. I know wiffle. Wiffle ball. Wiffle, yeah. Anyway. Wuffling, wuffling for me makes me think of um, puppies. And they're, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, they're wuffling. Like wuffle balls. But a sniffle. They're real. It's right? A, Puppies with like, a sniffle? They're woofling? Woofling. Mm -hmm. I, it's a fun word. I'm yeah. going to okay. use it several more right. times. I really want, I, I will Google this and, and um, perhaps <laughs> I am going to broaden right. my, you know, vocabulary, vocabulary yeah. after this. I like it. So. You're allowed to make up words anyway. You can. I do. I, I like that word. But okay. you just have to make sure it's it's what it's explains enough and and made up words in a new world. Um, you just have to be careful you don't do those too early on. Ground us into your world a little bit first. Oof. Randy's going <laughs> to keep, Randy's gonna okay, keep okay. reading. I found Rory. Clarice floated into view. That means I win. Tony popped up from the ground, shaking off clods of dirt. He'd been tunneling again. Five more minutes and I would have won, he grumbled. Rory inched her way over to the next branch. The tree suddenly shook hard. Matthew, stop. She hugged the tree tight. Okay. I know that I already buzzed. Didn't I say I Jeanette? Said, I feel mean for doing this, but I feel like also, okay, how many people are we introducing on the first page? And we don't have a description of any of them. We don't know their ages or anything. But, so I'm, I'm already lost as far as how many people this is and who they are all are. So yeah, um, just make sure that you introduce your characters uh, with a little bit of detail and, and don't lump up, don't give us a huge group all at once because we will never be able to keep track of of who's who. So. You can okay. continue. I will promise I will not buzz it again unless you use the word as a bunch more times. Um, she has now gotten her buzzer taken away. <laughs> we'll move the mic front closer. We'll take the buzzer away. <laughs> start, start counting the as's and the when's. You are grounded from your buzzer. <laughs> Her Sorry. brother grinned unrepentantly and folded a giant pair of wings behind him as he landed on as the branch he landed, above her. As he landed. As he landed. <laughs> Is that a new spell? You, you know, that you aren't allowed to try anything new for at least a week. Aunt Ruby's not going to like. Clarice suddenly went silent, even though her mouth was working frantically. <laughs> Okay, so I'm finally going to buzz uh, for the a uh, lot of the adverbs there, the L Y words. Um, yeah, we get several nice. of them: unrepentantly, uh, suddenly, frantically. Uh, three, three fairly close. You can get away with them from time to time. Try to pick a better verb or structure your sentence where it's less passive and needs less of an adverb than you have in there. I know sometimes we have to use them, and sometimes they they fit. And so I'm not a, I'm not I say never I don't say never use them. But there's three in a row right there when you probably could use some better verbs instead. Uh, and, um, you know, just the, the, to change your punctuation, instead of the dot, 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 use, use the uh, dash, meaning that suddenly, that means that suddenly mm -hmm. she stopped talking. And that way you get away with getting, getting rid of at least one of them right yeah. there. Well, and even, I mean, I, I kind of have a weakness for L-Y words. But um, suddenly, a lot of times you can just yeah. take out. So yeah. this one definitely, Clar Clarice went silent. You know, even though we know right. we know it was sudden. Yeah, we yeah. already know that. So. Yeah, um, I'm I'm a little confused though that she went silent even though her mouth was working frantically. Hey, wait! You didn't buzz. You don't get to talk. <laughs> <laughs> she well, didn't either. Talk. And she, that was like her third <laughs> time. To, I did. I did. I she would talk while you were reading, just so yes. you know. <laughs> yes. I'm yes. sorry, but person, we could go back to it. I we'll love, go back to it. I love uh, you and your magic and your characters. I'm sorry. <laughs> we could go back to it. Okay. It's okay. Clarice sil suddenly went silent, even though her mouth was working frantically. Ah, come on, Clarice, don't be a spoil sport. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. Not yet, Rory muttered. As usual, the others ignored her and continued her their bickering. Clarice was turning red with indignation. Rory tried to ignore her family as she kept climbing down the tree, but it was rather difficult as they uh, shape shifted and argued about whose spell was better. It's a good thing okay. she doesn't have a buzzer. I know. There's that, two that, that last sentence. Oh, yes. There's two. Okay, I just I want to point out that. I'll that, give it back to you now. You want to just. Are you going to buzz it? Well, there was, a, there was another 
and, and properly used as, but okay, the, I want to say the first, as usual, that one is fine. Although, mm -hmm. see, this is the problem with using a lot of as is in there is that when I first heard as usual, I like trigger it a little bit just because, you know, I already knew you were you were overusing them. But yeah, the Rory tried to ignore her yeah, family as she PTSD kept climbing down. Zone, and, yeah, it, I do. But it was rather difficult as the shape shifts. See that? And, There's um, two. Yeah, the the second one can stay too. But yeah, the the one that's that says they're doing something simultaneously, um, those most of the time just take them out. Most of the time, you don't need to say, "Hey, these two things are happening simultaneously." Um, and there's a whole chapter uh, about that in the book, Self Editing for the Fiction right. Writer by Did Brown and King. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Because okay. I was giving the advice for a long time, and then I thought, what if that isn't actually a different book? That would be bad. But um, no, it's in that book. It's in that book. So. And there's a lot of, uh, well, okay, the ING. Uh, uh, Clarice was turning red with indignation. How about just say Clarice turned Turn red, red with indignation? Yeah. Yeah, that's passive voice. When you it throw is, in those was's mm -hmm. that aren't needed, yeah. um, you can eliminate those most of the time. So right. look for more active yeah. voice there. Yeah. I really when I when I'm have time and I care about a book, that sounds wrong. I care about all my books. I will actually do a search and find for was. I do that. And look at every single was and and mm -hmm. and ask myself if it's necessary. And a lot of times they are, but Sometimes you can take them out. And That's a good them. editing technique. Did you catch that? that? Do a yeah. word search for, yeah. and do a word search for as or when. Yep. Mm -hmm. And look at oh, those yeah. as well. And uh, uh, what was the other one? But word. was another one. Yeah, but I overused too. Um, Searching for butts. That's an as. Underneath is. the bleachers. <laughs> That's okay, I think I think <laughs> we that enough. This just took We're a gonna turn. move on to <laughs> voting since the conversation has turned awry. <laughs> and uh, we are gonna As go the ahead conversation and turned awry. start with Brock, who will give off with the ass um, in the beginning of the sentence. Who will give uh, a ready if he thinks it's ready to go in, um, set if he thinks it needs a little bit of tweaking, or a write if it needs to go back to uh, the writing process. And I'm going to vote right um, based on the things we've talked about. I think this looks like a very good story idea. You've got some good characters. You looks like you've got a good idea for magic. You've got um, some tension between these characters already. All that's good. Maybe you're not starting at the right spot. Maybe you are. I'm not sure at this point. The writing just needs needs quite a bit of polish uh, for it to, to catch my attention and keep my attention. However, the characterization, like I said, does draw me in and does want me uh, to, makes me want to know more about the story. So I'll give it a right, um, but I do think there's a lot of really good things in this piece. Yeah, and I, um, I you know, I, I just, well, ditto, Brock, um, you know, magic is always interesting. It, you know, I'm curious to know what's going on. So you just wouldn't want to take care of some of these little technical writing problems so you don't turn off an, an agent before they even get to find out what the story is about. So I'm going to give it a write also. Um, I'm also going to give it a write and I'm going to add a couple um, other things. Um, is that I, I don't get a huge stre uh, strong sense of her voice. Um, there's not a lot of internal thoughts here um, as far as how does she feel about what is going on right now? You know, where is her goal? I don't have a sense of her goal other than not getting caught, um, which then she does get caught. So um, I I really want to see a little bit more of her voice here. So find ways that you can throw that in there. Like, how does she feel about these other characters? Although I agree with Jeanette, eliminate some of these characters. Um, so, you, I mean, what is the rule? Like three, three. at the most? Yeah. Um, uh, just because you don't want to confuse your reader, yeah. so which is never a good thing. Um, but yeah, so I, I will give it a right. Um, fix these technical things, and um, it does it intrigues me. I love stories with magic. Um, I have a couple myself. I just it's intriguing. So um, keep going. Yeah. I like the concept of uh, these children playing hide and seek and using their magic powers or magic spells to be able to. Uh, uh, to win the game, and, and that's clever. But I'm not sure that that is the right starting spot for this. I really, other than knowing that these children can cast spells, I don't know anything about the children. I don't know anything about the story world. This could be modern day, and that they have magic. It could be uh, an actual different fantasy world. 
I know nothing about any of that other than these children. These are young people playing hide and seek and they can use magic. And uh, I, I really need to let to know why this story is different from all the other stories. And, and I hope it's not because they play hide and seek. And I need to know why I'm really going to be excited about it. Because I'm, as much as I like the hide and seek scene, that doesn't excite me enough to read a whole book about playing hide and seek. Yeah, well, it's, it's not a high stakes. <clears throat> Yeah, there's, right. We don't get the sense of high stakes. Right. It's just a and the tension is and the tension is released very quickly because she gets caught in the right. second yeah. paragraph. Right. Yeah. Right. And found. is there any consequences mm -hmm. with her being caught? That's Lead her thing, to so. the Wuffle Monsters. No, that yeah. would be interesting. That's Jeanette is going to find as many ways to, yeah. she can say Wuffle. wuffle. Yeah. She's going to Wuffle the rest of the mm -hmm. recording mm -hmm. session. But it's not a monster; it's a feeling. All right. So <laughs> that's how we looked at it. Uh, did we get it right? You think we're right, or if you think we're wrong, go ahead and leave a comment yeah. below. And don't yeah. forget to subscribe before you leave your comments. So you can yes. you That's can right. uh, yes. you can hash us uh, and trash us all the time. You know. exactly. <laughs> yes. You can woofle below. Yes. Yeah. Give us your thoughts of the word woofle. We yeah. Yeah. Please. What do you think it means? <laughs> and do you think it's a real word? Or all should right. Be. <laughs> Until next time. Get ready. Get set. Right. Um,